belongs to him he gave us this opportunity to stand before him to stand before his throne and to talk to him this this morning this is the opportunity given to us to talk to him to talk to him maybe during the week you have been doing other things but this is the only opportunity this Sunday in the morning to talk to your father about what is bothering your heart about what is in your heart so I want you not to miss this this moment and to talk to your father just talk to him just talk to him for what is coming from your heart from deep of your heart because the victory belongs to him this morning because the victory belongs to him he has made us righteous he has made us righteous therefore we have that that we have that that that, that victory therefore we have that that right to be standing in the in his praises the victory belongs to him the victory belongs to him the victory belongs to him victory belongs to jesus victory belongs to him Talk to your father this moment. Just be focusing his presence this morning. Be focusing his presence this morning. Be focusing his presence. The Holy Spirit is over here. The Holy Spirit will make us stronger. The Holy Spirit will make us more able. Able. Because he has paid our way. He has. He, because he has paid our debt he has paid our debt at the cross the bible says uh, there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus the bible says there is no condemnation for those who believe in Jesus because he has paid your debt he has paid your debt 
So nothing can, can condemn you. Nothing can prevent you to come in, in his presence. Just talk to your father this, this morning. Your Lord is there. Your Lord is there. Oh, he's over here. He's hearing you. He's listening to you. He just wants you to talk to him. He loves you. He loves you. More than anything, he loves you. Your Lord loves you. He loves you. Maybe you, you, can feel, you can feel guilty about something, but this moment the Lord is telling you that he loves you. He loves you more than what you were expecting. He loves you. Just be in his presence. Don't miss this opportunity, I beg you. Don't miss this opportunity in his presence. Just talk to, to your father. Because he is there. Because he is here. Your father is here. Your father is here. Our Lord is here. His presence is here. Hallelujah. His presence is here. Oh Lord. I thank you for your presence. I thank you, our Lord. I thank you for your presence in this place because you love us, Lord. You gave us that strength to be standing over here. You gave us that strength, oh Lord, to be in your presence, oh Lord. I don't want to miss this opportunity, Lord. I just want you to come in this presence, Lord. I just want you to come in this place, in this place, oh my God. To come and to touch some people, Lord. Because you said you made us with us, oh Lord, oh Alpha, oh my God. Hallelujah, you are over here, Lord. I praise you, Lord. I praise you for your protection. I praise you for your protection, oh Lord. I thank you, Alpha Omega. I thank you, Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Jine, Jehovah Lucy. I thank you for your presence in this place. I thank you, our Lord. I thank you. I know you are over here. You are over here. I know you are over here, Alpha Omega. I thank you for what you have done in our lives. I thank Thank you for what you have done in our lives, oh Lord. I thank you these people came in your presence. These people came, oh our Lord, in your presence to talk to you this morning, oh our Lord. I want you to come and to come say Jesus Christ. I want you to come and to listen to them, oh our Lord. Because you love Father. Because, oh hallelujah, you have paid our debt at the cross, oh. So nothing can condemn us because you didn't condemn that woman. Hallelujah. 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 I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. The victory belongs to him. The victory belongs to you. Oh. 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 Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs. Oh. 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 Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time you've given us, Lord. It's a privilege to worship you. It's a privilege to know you, Lord. Like your word says, we love because you first loved us. You chose us from the dumps. You chose us from the miry clay and you lifted us up, O oh Father. It's not that we have chosen you, but you have chosen us, O oh Father. And this morning as we stand here in your presence, O oh Lord, draw us into your presence. Draw us in. Help us to walk in boldly, boldly, O oh Father, Lord, knowing that you have paid the price, knowing that the victory belongs to you for everything that we are going through in our lives right now, where defeat seems imminent, O oh Lord. We surrender that into your hands. The ones that need clarity this morning, I pray that you would give them clarity. The ones that need answers to their prayers, I give, pray that you give them the answers to their prayers. The ones that need healing this morning, I pray that you give them the healing that they're looking for, O oh Father, Lord. And I pray in everything that you would deal with their spirits, deal with their bodies the way that need this morning, O oh Father Lord. 
I give you all the glory and the honor and the power and the praise. And God's people said, Amen, Amen, Amen. Shall we give God the glory this morning? Hallelujah. 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 Are we ready to praise God? Hallelujah. Can we all rise up into the presence of the Lord and get ready? Amen. Amen. Are you ready to rejoice this, this morning? Are you ready to rejoice this morning? Amen. You can do more than that. Are you ready to rejoice this morning? Amen. So, I just want you to clap your hand. To start clapping your hand. Together as the choir, as we are singing over here. Hallelujah. Here you go. Let's go. Clap your hands. Come on. Let's go there. One more time. Let's go. And to you, I can do anything. I can do all things. Because it will give me strength. Nothing is impossible. Through you, blind eyes are open. Strong are the broken. I am living by faith. Nothing is impossible. Come on, just clap your hands. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. nothing is impossible. Let's do that together. Here you go. I'm not gonna leave. I'm not gonna leave by what I see. Oh, I'm not gonna leave. I'm not gonna leave by what I see. Did I not know that? Did I not know that you hear oh, me? He with me, Lord. I know that hey. you can do anything to you. To you, I can do anything. I can do all things. I can do all things. You give me strength. Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Oh, oh. Oh, 
never runs out of me. Your love never fades. Never fades. Never gives up. Never runs out of me. Your love. Oh. if you believe anything is possible for those who believe anything is possible as long as you're in the word of God so this morning should we just keep our eyes upon the God who provides can we keep our eyes upon the Lord who delivers upon the Lord because the Bible says you keep your eyes upon me like we read in the in the story of Peter when he was in the sea in the mix of the trials and the tribulations all we're expected to do is keep our eyes on the Lord. That is difficult sometimes. Very difficult. But if we can see Him in our troubles, if we can see Him in our trials, things change around us. So can we just say, at the center of it all. Yes. At the center of it all, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. Come on, can we sing that? At the center of it all, you alone, Lord. It's you that I see. It's you that I see. One more time, at the center of everything. At the center of it all, whatever is the trial, tribulation, the joy, the suffering, I keep eyes upon you, Lord. One more time, at the center of it all, at the center of it all, it's you that I see, it's you that I see. Can we sing? There is power. Time shall we sing there is power. Come on. There is power in your name. Miracles happen in your name. As we lift our voice and pray. As we lift our voice and pray. It's you that I see. Come on, come on. It's you that I see. 
the center of it all. At the center of it all, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. At the center of it all, it's you that I see. Yes, it's you that I see. Let's remind ourselves one more time. At the center of it all, I will look at you and you alone, alone. At the center of it all, it's you that I see. Your face shines upon me. One more time. At the center of it all, at the center of it all, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. Come on. Shall we lift the voice and sing? There is power in the name. There is power in your name. Miracles happen in your name. As we lift our voice in praise, it's you that I see. Shall we sing that there is power? There is power in your name. Miracles happen. Miracles happen in your name. As we lift our voice, as we lift our voice and pray, it's you that I see. It's you that I see. You are big, bigger than the big. You are strong, stronger than the strongest. You are higher, higher than the highest. You are greater, greater than the greatest. You are bigger, bigger than the biggest. You are stronger, stronger than the strongest. There is no force. You are higher, higher than the highest. You are greater. and sing as we lift our voice and praise it's you alone it's you alone that I see them they came by hope they came by my husband there is power in your name there is power in your name there is nothing that you can't do in our lives alone miracles happen in your name so I will praise you give you all the Voice of praise, it's you that I see, it's you that I see. At the center, at the center of it all, you that I see. Center. 
awesome wonder, mighty ruler, the king of all the earth, be bow before your throne, awesome wonder, mighty ruler, king of all the earth. Bow before your throne. We bow down and worship Yahweh. Hey, yeah, yeah. We bow and worship Yahweh. We bow down. Shall we lift the voice and sing? Just worship God together. Just worship Him in your own words. Let your heart open up to God right now. Let your soul open up to God right now. Allow that love to come into your life, the forgiveness to come into your life, the gifts of the Spirit to just flow out from within you. I love that to happen right now.
Can you talk to him on your own right now? Just talk to him on your own. No can't. Huh? Lord, we give you the glory and the honor of Father. For you know our heart more than anyone else, Lord. All of us, we look at the outside and we judge people, but you know our heart. You know our hearts, you know our weaknesses, you know our shortcomings, oh Lord. You know that we are but dust, oh Father. There is nothing that we can hide from you, Lord. There is nothing that we can hide. There is nowhere that we can run. So I just surrender ourselves, Lord. We just surrender ourselves in your presence. For you to just take hold of. You don't judge us because you have already paid the price for the judgment. To him who comes to his presence, he will in no wise cast out. That's your word. If anyone comes to your presence, you will not cast them away, Lord. Help us just come into your presence and not run away. Not run away, Lord, but just come into your presence and know that that is where we have peace. That is where we have the answer. Even though it doesn't seem apparent. Even though it doesn't seem that the answer is anywhere near. That is the only place, Lord. Give us the revelation of who you are and what you're doing in our lives, O oh Father. Because your word says, he that has called you is faithful to keep you from falling, Lord. You will keep us from falling if you would just stay and abide in you. So help us to abide in you, Father. Not out of our own strength, but out of your strength. To abide in you, to abide in you, to abide in you, to stay in you. To stay in you, to know that there is no strength that we have apart from you. To know that there is nothing that we can do apart from you. Give us that revelation, Lord, the deeper revelation, so that it just translates into our actions every day. That there is nothing that we can do apart from you. Unless the Lord builds the house, the laborers toil in vain. And I can do all things through Christ alone. Through Christ alone, it is that I can do all things, not on my own strength, Lord. Help us to love those who hate us. Bless those who curse us and pray for those who persecute us, Lord. And forgive 70 times 7 like you have asked us to. Give us the strength to do that, O oh Father. So we will be in the center of your will. In the center of your will, Lord. That's where we want to be. Right in the center. In the center, in the center of your will. And not move anywhere else, Lord. Because he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. He is my strength. A thousand will fall on my right and ten thousand on my side, yet no harm will come over me. That is your word. And it's for those who abide inside you, in your secret place. Help us to stay inside you, Father. And not stray away. Not stray away. Thank you for you heard our prayers, Lord. Thank you for you heard our prayers. I want to just give this a moment to anyone who wants to speak on your own to God right now. Anything that you want to talk to Him right now, just use this moment for a quick moment. Don't waste this time. Does anyone who's seated, can you rise up as we declare the promises of God? Repeat these words only if you believe in it right now. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. 
for my righteousness is of the Lord. But whatever I do will prosper. For I am like a tree that's planted by the rivers of water. Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. Therefore, I forbid any sickness or disease to come upon this body. Every disease, germ, and virus that touches this body dies instantly in the name of Jesus. I let the peace of God rule in my heart and I refuse to worry about anything. I will not let the word of God depart from before my eyes for his life to me. I have found it. It is health and healing to all my flesh. Now can you say this with boldness? God is on my side. God is in me now. Or who can be against me? He has given unto me all things that pertains to this life and godliness. Therefore, I'm a partaker of his divine nature. Can we give God the glory? As the ushers prepare the elements for communion this morning. Alors que les protocoles préparent les éléments de la communion. Let's just take a moment to prepare ourselves in our hearts. Prenons un temps pour nous préparer dans nos cœurs. All of you who are participating in communion. Que ceux qui vont prendre part à la communion. Just set aside yourself. Dispose-toi. Talk to the Father. Et parle à ton Père. Prepare yourself. Prépare-toi. For this is your time. Car c'est ton temps. As you take a moment to pause, Alors que tu prends ce moment, and contemplate of the goodness of God in our life, et contempler les bontés de Dieu dans nos vies, and all the wonderful things that He has been doing in our lives, et toutes les bonnes choses qu'il continue à faire dans nos vies, for the sacrifice He made on Calvary for our sins, de se sacrifier au calvaire pour nous, such a precious gift, c'est un don très merveilleux, in exchange for our eternity, en échange de notre éternité. And as we prepare ourselves this morning, Alors que nous nous préparons ce matin, those who are taking communion, can I ask you to rise to your feet? Que ceux qui vont prendre part à la communion, euh, prière de vous tenir debout. Loving Heavenly Father, we come before you today. Père Céleste, nous venons devant toi. With one heart, with one soul, one spirit, with one mind. D'un seul cœur, d'une seule âme, d'une seule pensée et force. As one body, we come to partake of your table. Comme un seul corps, nous venons prendre part à ta table. And we do this in remembrance of you. Et nous le faisons à mémoire de toi. Father, in our own strength, we are not worthy. Père, par notre propre force, nous ne sommes pas dignes. But we stand your clothes in your righteousness. Mais nous sommes vêtus de ta robe de justice. For we are washed by your blood. Car nous sommes lavés par ton sang. We have been, we've been, we have been reunited together again through your Son, Jesus. Nous avons été réconciliés à toi à travers ton Fils, Jésus Christ. As we partake of this bread and of this wine. Alors que nous prenons part à ce vin et ce pain. And as these elements become part of our body. Et alors que ces éléments prennent part à notre corps. We do it with thankfulness, Lord. Nous le faisons avec action de grâce. We do it with a grateful heart. Nous le faisons avec un cœur reconnaissant. We do it with love unto you. Nous le faisons avec amour envers toi. 
And we ask you, Father. Et tout ce que nous te demandons, Père. Bind us together as one body. Lis-nous à toi comme un seul corps. In Christ. En Christ. Through your love. À travers ton amour. May we reflect your glory. Enfin que nous puissions refléter ta gloire. We give you the glory, honor, and praise. Te donnons toute la gloire, l'honneur et la louange. In Jesus' name, I pray. Au nom de Jésus, Amen. 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 Let's worship. Let the weak say I am strong. Let the poor say I am rich. Let the blind say I can see what the Lord has done in me. One more time, let the weak weak say I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Let the blind say, I can see what the Lord has done in me. Hosanna, Hosanna to the Lamb that was slain. streams of the Savior's love for me. Hosanna, Hosanna to the land out of slave. Dans 1 Corinthiens chapitre 11, verses 24 and then verse 25. Partie du 24e verset jusqu'au 25e. And when he had given thanks, he broke it 
Et après avoir rendu grâce, le rompit. And said, Take it, this is my body. Et dit, prenez ceci et mon corps. Which is broken for you. Qui est rompu pour vous. Do this in remembrance of me. Faites ceci en mémoire de moi. Let's partake of the bread. Prenons le pain. In the same manner also he took the cup after supper saying This cup is the new covenant in my blood This do as often as you drink it In remembrance of me Let's partake of the wine As the ushers collect the elements this morning, Alors que les protocoles reprennent les éléments, we're going to spend a little more time in worship. Nous allons encore passer un peu de temps dans l'adoration. You can be seated or you could stand, depends on how you want to worship. Tu peux être debout ou assis, tout dépend, tout dépend de ta position. And from there we'll flow into the word. Et nous, parlons, nous passerons à la parole. Let's give God some worship. Just as we get ready to prepare for the word, just the center of heart. Softly let's sing. Hosanna. Together. In the heart, let our King be lifted up. Oh, Hosanna. Let's open our hearts and sing. Hosanna. In the high, high, yeah. Let our King be lifted. Oh, oh, Shall we lift it up one more time? Open your hearts up. Let this script lift him up, lift him up. Oh, Zena. Thank you, Jesus. Can we just sing that one more time? And I'd just like you to join with me. Est-ce qu'on peut encore chanter et je me vous joindre à moi? Can you just stand in the presence of God for a minute? Est-ce qu'on peut tous se tenir debout pour un, pour un moment? Hosanna. Mm -hmm. Will you reach out and touch us this morning, Lord? Mm -hmm. Hosanna. Oh, Hosanna. and give him worship. We lift up our hands to you, Jesus. Yeah. 
Up, Lord. Sois élevé, Seigneur. Be lifted up in our lives. Sois élevé dans nos vies. Be lifted up, Lord, in this church. Sois élevé dans cette église. Be lifted up in our families. Sois élevé dans nos familles. Be lifted up in our nation. Sois élevé, élevé dans nos nations. We lift you up, Jesus. Nous t'élevons, Jésus. We lift you up. Nous t'élevons. If you lift me up, si tu m'élèves, I will draw all men unto me. J'attirerai tout homme auprès de moi. We lift you up in our praise. Nous t'élevons dans nos louanges. We lift you up in our lives. Nous t'élevons dans nos plans. We lift you up. We lift you up. We lift you up. Oh, Jesus, you be lifted higher. Higher, be lifted higher. Because I never did it on my own. You be lifted. I never got you on my own, Lord. It's only you. 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 Mais tu es levé devant Seigneur et lui rendre gloire. Say God, you be lifted up. Dis Seigneur, sois élevé. Say God, you be lifted up. Sois élevé. We lift you up, Lord. Nous t'élevons, Seigneur. We lift you up in this congregation. Nous t'élevons dans cette congrégation. We lift you up in our lives. Nous t'élevons dans nos vies. To you receive all the glory. À toi toute la gloire. To re- you receive all the honor. Tu reçois la, nous tout To you receive all the praise. Tu reçois toute la louange. Can somebody shout hallelujah in this place? Alléluia en ce lieu. You lift up your voice and praise the Lord just for one minute. Et loue le Seigneur. For his grace and his favor and his mercy for his love that endureth forever oh thank you Jesus we lift you up Lord we lift you up Lord hallelujah Father we just thank you as we stand in your presence we know, Lord, we didn't get here by our own. We, never, we didn't get this far by ourselves. That if it wasn't because of you, we would not be even in this place. So we want to thank you. Even as we sit to receive from you this morning, may your presence just take over. May you speak and may you minister to the hearts of your people this morning. For those that are here, from those that are are watching us from around the world. For those that are listening it over recorded, we pray, Lord, that your presence will just continue to speak through your word. And you'll be glorified in this Et place. Que tu sois en ce lieu. Somebody shout amen. 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 Can you just turn out, turn around and just meet one or two people before you sit? Est-ce que tu peux aller te déplacer, aller Say, I'm so happy dire, to see you this morning. De te voir ce matin. You look good today. Tu es beau. That color suits you. Et cette couleur te va. That hair suits you. Les cheveux aussi. Those who don't have hair just make up something else. <laughs> Et ceux qui n'ont pas de cheveux créent quelque chose d'autre. Hallelujah. Amen. We're just going to give uh, two or three minutes uh, because I know many of our worship team disappear for like half an hour.
Je vais donner prendre juste deux ou trois minutes. So if you need to go out and get a glass of water and come back, we'll wait. Uh, no? okay. Oh, praise God, they're all ready for the service. Okay, <laughs> amen. Um, we had an amazing time on Tuesday at the encounter. Nous avons eu un moment merveilleux le mardi à, à, au concert de nommé Encounter. I don't know how many, how many of you made it, can I just shout? Qui était là le mardi, est-ce qu'on peut se manifester? Okay, that's five of you, amen. <laughs> But we had a great time. Mais nous avons eu un moment merveilleux. It was an amazing time and the presence of God was so special. Un moment merveilleux dans la présence de Dieu. Brother Michel and his team did an absolutely fabulous job. Notre frère Michel a fait un grand travail. Amen. Amen. And um, I think, uh, I don't know whether you had a chance to do it, but Pastor Sean, who really supported them and helped put everything together, I think he deserves an applause. Est-ce qu'on peut acclamer pour le Pastor Sean pour la logistique? When you, at least in this church, when you're standing, we don't need uh, lights. We get light directly from there. <laughs> Amen. But uh, God is so good. Mais Dieu est très bon. We just give God all the praise and the glory. Toute la gloire et For everyone that came and came with expectation, we pray that they were blessed on that day. Pour tous ceux qui sont venus, nous croyons que vous avez été bénis. And we look forward to many more opportunities where God will use us to be a blessing. Et nous sommes impatients d'avoir encore d'autres opportunités alors que Dieu nous utilise pour être une bénédiction. I know we didn't have, we didn't go into the offering and the announcements. We'll do that towards the end of the service because I need to, I have something in my heart that I need to share. Nous allons offrir et donner le communiqué après le message. And um, I'd rather you sleep through the announcements than sleep through the service. Et au lieu que vous puissiez dormir pendant les... Uh, it doesn't matter, bro. They'll, they will receive it in, by the Spirit of God. Okay. Yeah. Amen. Uh, but before I start, I just want to do something. Mais avant de commencer, je me réfère à quelque chose. And I need you to help me. Et je voudrais que vous puissiez m'aider. Ok, actually, before we do that, I just want to um, just give you an update on uh, Reverend Augustin. Mais avant de le faire, j'aimerais uh, vous mettre à jour par rapport au cas de Reverend Augustin. Uh, we know that many of you are, are praying and interceding for him and the family and the church. We thank you for that. C'est vrai que nous sommes en train de prier pour lui. Nous vous, vous en sommes reconnaissants. I think it was yesterday that uh, he was moved back from the, from the ICU back to the ward. Et c'est hier qu'il a été libéré des soins intensifs. And we got to continue to pray and intercede. Et nous avons continué à prier et intercéder pour lui. Uh, he's been now, as you know, in and out of hospitals for more than two months. Comme vous le savez, il a été uh, hospitalisé et libéré pour plus de deux mois. I thank God for those of you who have come forward with a burden to be a blessing uh, to, to that family. Et merci pour ceux qui ont, qui ont fait de leur fardeau pour prier pour lui. And at the end of the service, we want to take a special offering towards that family, and I'll tell you why. Et après, nous allons uh, prendre une offrande spéciale pour leur famille. Je vous dirai pourquoi. Because when we just say give an offering, you know, you'll just give, but I think you'll need to understand, um, you know, what, what is happening. Parce que de fois qu'on donne, on donne juste pour donner, mais de fois on comprend ce qui se passe réellement. We thank God that although we are not a very big church, and we don't have too many working people in the church, but But we thank God for the heart of those that are here, that God has really used you to be a blessing. Merci parce que malgré que nous ne sommes pas une grande église et il n'y a pas assez de travail dans cette église, mais pour le cœur de ceux qui donnent, nous croyons que nous allons, nous serons une bénédiction pour les gens. And I appreciate uh, your sacrifice. Et je suis reconnaissant de vos sacrifices. At least nearly 75% of our church are students. Probablement 70% de, de 70% de l'église est, est étudiant. And they, they, and they give out of the little extra that they were able to pull from their parents. Et ils donnent, uh, ils sortent le, le peu qu'ils ont comme uh, additionnel de ce qu'ils reçoivent de leurs parents. And, uh, but I thank God that, you know, that God, God has used them to be a blessing to us. Merci parce que Dieu les utilise pour être une bénédiction pour nous. So, uh, I think it was, what, two weeks ago that uh, Reverend Augustin was discharged from the hospital. Je crois qu'il y a deux semaines qu'il a été libéré de l'hôpital. And when he got discharged, the bill was around 4.5 lakhs. Et quand il a été libéré, le, le, la facture s'est élevée à 400 000 rupees. And that was, I don't know what it was before that in the other hospitalization, but this time it was around 4.5 lakhs. Mais je ne sais pas uh, les, les, les charges d'avant, mais pour la dernière fois, c'était environ 400 000 rupees. We as a church, we raised, I think, nearly around uh, 75,000 rupees. Mais nous, en tant que nous avons eu à récolter environ 75 000. 75 to nearly 80,000 rupees. 75 à 80 000 rupees. The insurance covered only one lakh. Et l'assurance a eu à couvrir seulement uh, 100 000 rupees. So the remaining was from them. 
et le reste devait être pourvu d'eux-mêmes. You know Et alors vous comprenez qu'il est en plein temps dans le ministère. And his missionary work is not to the big prosperous nations of the world but it's the villages and the forests in India. Et les missions qu'il fait ce n'est pas dans des lieux luxueux mais dans les villages, dans les forêts. And um, so the little that they had um, I, what I understand was uh, was completely Wiped out. Et le peu qu'ils avaient, selon la manière de comprendre les choses, ça a été complètement euh, fini. This time, the hospital, he was in the ICU again for, I think, nearly three, to three days or four days. Et pour cette fois, il était encore dans les soins intensifs pour euh, trois ou quatre jours. And already, as of yesterday, the bill was around 3.2 lakhs. Et jusque hier, euh, la facture s'est levée à environ 300 000 rupees. Uh, it takes some kind of faith to believe God to come through, amen. Et de fois, ça requiert de la foi pour croire à ce que Dieu nous fasse traverser dans ces and situations. And as the earning member of that family, as uh, as the head of the home, you can imagine the kind of pressure and tension that he would be carrying. Étant la tête de la famille, vous pouvez comprendre la pression qu'il peut ressentir sur lui. His eldest son is married, and they also have a child, and they're living separately, so you really can't. You know, take too much from them because they have to run a family as well. Son aîné est marié et il a sa propre famille. On ne doit pas encore trop les déranger parce qu'il doit aussi prendre soin de ses charges. I'm, I'm saying all this so that you actually have an idea of what we are doing and 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 uh, it will give you a burden to to know where you need to stretch. Je l'ai dit pour que tu aies une idée de ce que nous voulons faire et enfin que tu prennes cela comme un fardeau et donner avec cœur ouvert. Many in this church have come forward and pledged. Uh, through just the pledges, I think we are around nearly 2 point, uh, sorry, 1.25 lakhs. Il y a de ceux qui sont venus uh, avec un cœur, uh, donnant d'un cœur uh, ouvert, et jusque là nous sommes à, à environ 5 000 rupees. But if I understand that he might be there, maybe another three days or four days, this bill can easily hit four or even go beyond four lakhs. Mais je comprends si il reste encore pour deux ou trois jours de plus, la, la facture va encore uh, augmenter. His son has an insurance, but it's already nearly completely uh, taken off because of the other hospitalization. So the insurance maximum will cover only 50,000. Alors, son, son, son fils a une assurance médicale, mais cette assurance a été presque épuisée et ça va à environ 50 000 rupees. So that is quite a huge balance that is that needs to be paid. Et ça c'est une grande somme qui doit être payée. Now the family has never asked us to do this. Et la famille nous a jamais demandé de leur venir en aide. But family does not need to ask. Mais la famille n'a pas besoin de le demander. Is that right? Amen. Because if you're family, you will feel the burden for one another. Parce que si tu es une famille, tu ressentiras le fardeau pour l'un à l'autre. We know that, you know, when we're doing something for this cause, we're doing it for a good cause because we know his life and we know the ministry because we've seen it. Parce que nous faisons cette chose, nous savons que nous faisons pour une bonne cause car nous connaissons sa vie, nous connaissons son ministère. Amen. Amen. So uh, I thank God for those that have come forward already and made a pledge. But, en disant merci à Dieu pour ceux qui sont venus donner cette aide. But for those who didn't. Uh, I, I want to just ask you to pray. I don't want you to be manipulated by the emotional situation. I want you to pray about it because, uh, and I believe God will speak to you and tell you where and how much. Alors pour ceux qui n'ont pas encore donné, je voudrais que vous puissiez d'abord prier. Ne venez pas donner parce que vous êtes manipulé ou bien uh, uh, à, à cause des, des, des émotions que vous allez sentir. Amen. And when Amen. we give for these kind of causes, it's not, it's not a work of charity. Et quand le faisons pour cette cause, ce n'est pas en guise de charité. It is seeds that we sow. C'est une semence que nous plantons. And I really believe in this principle because when you sow, Et je crois que quand vous semez, God knows how to bring a harvest in due season in your life. Dieu sait comment apporter une moisson au moment qu'il faut dans ta vie. But if you're not ready to sow with the little that you have, how can you be trusted with the great? Mais si tu n'es pas prêt à semer avec le peu que tu as, pour comment est-ce qu'il peut te faire confiance avec euh, le beaucoup que tu peux avoir? I know some of you, 10,000 would be a, 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 um, would be easy money for some of you. 500 will be like more than you can afford. So don't give it out of, you know, what can I spare, but give it out of God, I want to be a blessing. But I believe that as you pray and as you seek God, God will speak to you and I believe you will do the right thing. Is it okay for me to say that and ask of that? Est-ce que je peux le dire comme ça? Amen. Okay. Just like nobody, only, nobody, only my mother responded. <laughs> okay. 
So um, I just needed to share that with you before we go into the word of God this morning. Alors je me juste partager avec vous avant de passer au message. So that you can continue to pray and believe because you also know the situation financially and also health wise. So you have a bigger picture when you're praying for him and when you're coming forward to be a blessing. Pour que vous ayez une idée de ce que nous voulons faire en fin de tout venir être une bénédiction pour eux. Okay, so um, praise God, Amen. Okay, are you, are you all okay today? You look, you are looking very misplaced, Amen. Okay, so I w- uh, let's break this monotony. So I wanted, I want to just do something with you all this morning. Alors je me réfère quelque chose avec vous ce matin. And um, I need you all to help me. Alors je me réfère pour que m'aider. And um, it will also help, you know. And bring up the energy in this place a little bit. So, ce matin. Um, I want all of you. Alors, que vous, at the count of three. Alors que nous allons compter jusqu'à trois. I'm, I and my brother Chris will will start walking from there to about here. Nous allons, uh, nous déplacer de là jusque là. Those that are closer to heaven, if you can hear me, uh, maybe after that you can come a little forward because red reflects too much in my eyes. Et ceux qui sont au balcon, veuillez occuper les chaises qui sont devant. Amen. So Amen. at the count of three, what I want you all to do. Alors jusqu'à trois, j'aimerais que vous puissiez faire ceci. Is I need you to be innovative. J'aimerais que vous puissiez être uh, innovatif. I need you to be loud. Et d'être uh, bruyant. Enough to get my attention on you. Crier uh, aussi fort pour attirer mon attention sur vous. This is not because I'm desperate for you to look at me, no, but this <laughs> is actually an example that I want to use. Ce n'est pas parce que je veux attirer votre attention sur moi, mais je veux utiliser cela comme un exemple. Is that okay? Okay. So people in the balcony, I need you to be shout, I need you, you want to stand, you want to do whatever you need to do, but I need you to be loud. Alors les gens qui sont au balcon, faites ce que vous voulez, mais j'aimerais que vous puissiez faire t- uh, autant de bruit. Okay, so we'll just have one practice. Let me hear you how loud can you shout. Est-ce how loud can you shout? crier pour d'abord me faire sentir cela? Est-ce qu'on peut crier? My God, seriously? Okay, can we just get a practice to see how loud everybody can shout? Can Est-ce qu'on peut essayer de tous crier pour voir ce qu'on peut faire? Shout. Est-ce on peut crier. Okay, that's good enough. Let's see. Let's see whether you can do better. Alors, vous pouvez faire mieux que ça. So, which means that my, maybe you'll have to, you know, stand up or Peut-être do whatever to increase your volume. Essayons de nous tenir debout pour voir comment on peut encore crier plus fort que ça. But the point is, I need you to be loud enough so that I can get my attention Mais on you. Mais que vous faire trop de bruit enfin que je, je, je sois attiré par vous. Is that okay if you try that? Est-ce qu'on peut essayer? Is it okay? Est-ce qu'on peut essayer cela? But I need you to participate. Don't you? Je veux que vous puissiez participer. Ne laissez pas votre voisin crier. Are you ready? Vous êtes prêts? Are you ready? Balcony people, are you Au ready? Balcon, est-ce que vous êtes prêts? Okay. So we're going to start from here. At the count of three, I want you all. He's my bodyguard, okay? Yeah. À trois, à trois, nous allons commencer. Are you ready? Are vous êtes prêts? Okay. Do you want to stand? I think you'll stand. Stand. Est-ce qu'on peut tous être debout? Yeah. yeah. Some people are not even moving. Or like a, uh, are you ready? Sont vous prêts? Okay. One. Un. Two. Deux. Three. Trois. Okay. Okay, that, that that's not that's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Okay. That's for those who are just clearing the lungs. One more time we're going to do that. Encore une fois, on peut le faire. But I need you to shout so that I get you get my attention on you. Alors criez pour que vous puissiez avoir mon attention sur vous. Are you ready? Êtes-vous prêts? Can we do one more time? Est-ce qu'on peut encore le faire? One, un, two, deux, three, trois. Bro, I'm a bodyguard. Okay. Whew. Okay, okay. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. Can you turn to your neighbor and say you did well? You did well. Dis à ton voisin, tu as très bien fait. Amen. Okay, Amen. take a seat. Take a seat. On peut se rasseoir. I'll explain exactly what happened in a few minutes. Je vais vous expliquer qu'est-ce qui va se passer exactement. 
But now I can see more smiles. I can say like, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Amen. So today I just want to deal with a question. Alors je faire face à une question. And uh, this is a question that God has been dealing with me for a long time. Une question Dieu m'a and, à and today I'm not going to speak a long message, but I want to leave this question with you. And it's a question that God has asked me many times and I keep asking myself and I believe all of us need to ask this question. Une question que Dieu me pose chaque jour, mais que vous aussi vous posez cette question. Because when I'm seeking direction, not just in my personal life, but also in the ministry, Parce que non seulement je cherche la direction dans ma propre vie, mais aussi dans le ministère. This question often comes up. Cette question revient si souvent. But this is not the question, but I want to start with another question. Mais ça ce n'était pas la question que je voulais poser, mais je vais commencer avec une autre. Why do you come to church? Pourquoi tu viens à l'église? So if you can just take like 10 seconds and just tell your neighbor Prends juste 10 secondes et dis à ton voisin. Why did you really come to church today? Pourquoi tu es réellement venu à l'église aujourd'hui? And don't fake it, okay? Et ne, ne prétends pas. Because the presence of God is here. Parce que la présence de Dieu est en ce lieu. So just turn your neighbor and for 10 seconds just tell him why did you come to church pour, today? Pour 10 secondes, dis à ton voisin pourquoi tu es venu à l'église aujourd'hui? A lot of people are like nobody's talking to you my brother, don't worry. <laughs> okay, 10 seconds. 10 secondes. Okay. You know, because when people ask me the question, why do, why do people go to church? Or why did people come to the First Assembly of Zion? If someone asks you the question, you need to have clarity with your answer. You, you know, the, the Christian answer, and if you ask a pastor, why do people come to your church? We, we, we have a nice, biblical, powerful answer. We have a nice, biblical, powerful answer. You know that people came to church to receive from God. People came to church to get an experience with God and get an encounter with God. People came to church to get transformed by God and we have these great reasons. But in reality, that's not the reason why most of us are here this morning. Some came to church because it's close by. Some came to church because they want to, you know, scout who is their potential next partner. Il y a de ceux qui sont là pour parce qu'ils veulent exprimer leur potentiel à un partenaire qui recherche. Some came to church to impress somebody that they're already trying to, you know, Il y a de ceux qui viennent à l'église pour impressionner quelqu'un qu'ils ont commencé à impressionner. Some people came this morning because they wanted to hear the music. Il y a de ceux qui sont là parce qu'ils veulent écouter de la musique. Some of you came to church because you want to hear the preacher. Et même ceux qui sont là parce qu'ils veulent entendre le prédicateur. A few of you came to church to hear the translator. Peu d'entre nous sont là pour écouter <laughs> Some of you came to church because you had no choice. Because you're living with your, your, your partner, you're living with your family member, and they said, we are going to church, you have no choice, you got to come, if not, you won't eat. Parce que tu vis avec un partenaire ou un membre de ta famille qui t'a dit, tu n'as pas de choix, tu dois aller pour ne pas manquer le déjeuner. When I said that, I remembered my sister Jillian. Quand je l'ai dit, je me rappelle de ma soeur Jillian. Some time ago, uh, we had a movie night, and uh, her, her daughters came with her to church, and they said, the only reason we came, because mommy said she won't give us, you know, rose cookies and kalkals if we don't come, so we had to come. Il y a quelques temps, il y a ma soeur, il y a une de ses filles qui a dit la, la raison pour laquelle nous sommes venus, parce que la mère nous a dit si on ne vient pas, nous n'aurons pas les biscuits qu'elle voulait nous donner. Amen. Amen. Some people came out because they have a need. Il y a de ceux qui viennent parce qu'ils ont des besoins. Some people came because they're desperate, out of desperation. Il y a de ceux qui viennent parce qu'ils sont désespérés. Some of us came here because it's a religious thing to do. Il y a de ceux qui viennent parce que pour eux c'est un acte, une activité religieuse à faire. Some came to receive the word. Et il y a de ceux qui viennent pour recevoir la parole. And some came to have an experience. Et d'autres pour avoir une expérience. Some people who are here because they are forced to be here. Il y a de ceux qui sont ici parce qu'ils sont, ils ont été forcés à venir. Some people are here and they don't know why they're here. Et il y a de ceux qui sont là et ils ne savent même pas pourquoi ils sont là. Some people are here who really actually don't want to be here. Et il y a de ceux qui sont ici mais en réalité ils veulent pas être là. And some people are here because they want to be here. Et il y a de ceux qui sont ici parce qu'ils veulent être là. And we have this huge variety here. 
Et nous avons cette variété en ce lieu. So many categories of people that we are addressing at the same time. Nous avons beaucoup de catégories à, à laquelle nous parlons au même moment. And we need to cater to all of them at the same time. Et nous devons euh, travailler ou bien nous devons nous adresser à eux au même moment. And the question that we ask is why do people need to come or want to come to the first assembly of Zion. Et la question d'un pour c'est que pourquoi les gens ont besoin ou bien veulent venir à Zion. And you could be in any of the categories because somebody invited you, you came or whatever. Tu peux être dans n'importe quelle catégorie. Because see, between Lingarajapuram to maybe Henur. Parce que peut-être entre euh, Lingarajapuram et Henur. There's about four kilometers. Il y a probablement quatre kilomètres. It's there are more than 900 churches. Il y a plus de 900 euh, églises. So if you need to go to a church, you have churches all over the place. Alors, tu vas aller il y a, il y a beaucoup d'églises autour de toi. But why does somebody need to come to First Assembly of Zion? Or why did you come? Pourquoi quelqu'un doit venir seulement ce lieu? En fait, pourquoi tu es venu? And you know, these these are the things that keep playing in my mind. Why would they, you know, out of 900 plus churches, why would they come? Design. Ce sont les, les questions qui, qui continuent encore à, à, à jouer dans ma tête. Pourquoi il y a plus de 900 églises, mais pourquoi les gens viennent qu'à Zion? Because I'm sure there will be churches even so close to the house that they don't need to travel and spend auto money and, and Ola and Uber and all of that. They can just walk. Parce que je suis sûr qu'il y a même des églises qui sont euh, proches de leur habitation, mais ils prennent le plaisir de dépenser de l'argent pour le transport et venir en ce lieu. And this is something that he keeps kept ministering to me, so I want to share with you. C'est quelque chose qui continue encore à, à travailler dans mon cœur et j'aimerais partager avec vous. You know, there are seven plus billion people, is that right? Seven plus billion people right now on the face of the earth. Vous savez, il y a environ 7 milliards de la population euh, mondiale. And like how we say, there are like more than 900 churches just in this area. Comme nous l'avons dit, il y a plus de 900 églises dans cette zone. But just like how God called you individually and uniquely. Mais de la même manière que Dieu t'a appelé individuellement et uniquement. Just like out of all the seven plus billion, you are just one of de you. De la même manière qu'il t'a sorti de, 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 de ce milliard de personnes. Similarly, with all the, the churches all around. C'est pareil pour uh, malgré les tout, malgré toutes les églises qui sont autour de when toi. When God calls you, God calls a ministry and God calls an individual. It's always with a specific and unique purpose. Quand Dieu appelle un individu dans le ministère, c'est pour un but précis. Their purpose and their identity. Et pour leur identité et leur but. And it's important for us to understand why. C'est important de comprendre le pourquoi. Because when you have an understanding of why you are here, it will give you a chance to position yourself in the vision. Parce que quand tu comprends le, la raison pour laquelle tu es ici, ça te permettra de te positionner par rapport à ta Because vision. Because although God calls us individually, He also calls us corporately. Parce que bien que Dieu nous appelle individuellement, mais nous appelle aussi d'une manière euh, générale. And we have, and we're able to un, ask, answer the question why. It also brings clarity. When somebody else asks you. Alors si tu comprends le pourquoi de ta présence, tu pourras facilement répondre quand la personne te demandera le pourquoi. And the reason why it's important is that if you don't have a clarity in your calling, et la raison c'est parce que si tu n'as pas une clarité dans ton appel, then you get lost in competition. Et tu seras perdu dans la compétition. Because you will just try to compete with the next church. Tu vas essayer de faire une compétition avec une autre église. And you can get lost in the crowd because you don't have a specific identity. Et tu peux être perdu dans la foule parce que tu n'as pas une une identité unique ou spécifique. We can get caught up in competition and comparison. Tu peux être uh, rattrapé dans la comparaison dans, dans les compétitions. With, with how many numbers do you have? De combien de gens nous avons? With how relevant are you right now? De combien précis tu es? And how energetic and how good you are? Et combien énergétique ou what bien are tu the, es? And what are the programs that you are doing? Quels sont les programmes que nous faisons? And this this um, This uh, deception Et cette, ce mensonge can make the church competitive peut faire à ce que soit and to become competitive Et based quand elle est basée sur les compétitions rather than calling base au lieu d'être basée sur l'appel i need you to understand the difference alors je veux que vous puissiez comprendre la différence you should never go to a church because it's convenient tu ne dois pas aller dans une église parce que tu te sens confortable you should never say that is my church because it is convenient tu ne dois pas dire ça c'est mon église parce que je me sens confortable because i believe convenience kills calling parce que je crois que le fait de sentir confortable ça détruit l'appel are you with me so far Because convenient seeks comfort. Parce que être, le fait d'être confortable cherche un confort. But calling takes sacrifice. Mais l'appel fait appel au sacrifice. And calling will 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 
pull you from where you are. Et l'appel te sortira, te tirera d'où tu will, es. It will make you break away from where you are. Ça fera ce que tu quittes là où tu es. And it will bring you to the point of where God wants to position you. Et t'amener au point où Dieu veut te positionner. But convenience seeks to make God come to you rather than you go to God. Mais le confort te, te pousse à croire que Dieu doit venir vers toi alors que toi tu es alors, alors au lieu que tu ailles vers Dieu. Are you with me so far? Amen. And it's so important for us to have this clarity. Il est important d'avoir cette clarté. Because when you have no clarity in your calling, Parce quand tu n'as pas de clarté dans ton appel, you will tend to follow your gifts rather than follow your calling. Tu seras tenté de suivre tes dons au lieu de suivre ton appel. And your gifts and callings are so separate from each other. Il est très important de comprendre que les dons et, et l'appel sont vraiment séparés. Although they are meant to operate together. Bien qu'ils sont destinés à agir ensemble. But when you have no clarity in your calling, mais quand tu n'as pas de clarté dans ton appel, you will tend to follow where your gift will lead you. Tu seras tenté à suivre le pas que où le, le don t'amène. And not where your calling will position you. Et pas là où ton appel te positionne. And this is extremely important for to understand especially when you're in ministry. C'est vraiment important de comprendre surtout quand tu es dans le ministère. Because gifts can be perfected in practice. Parce que les dons peuvent être parfaits et pratiqués. So if I ask brother Michel where are you? He's praying for us outside. We ask brother Miche, how many hours you have spent for the concert? Si nous posons la question entre frères, combien de temps tu as passé pour te préparer au concert? They spent days and weeks and about a month or so in, il a in passé, preparation. Il a passé des jours, des semaines, probablement des mois pour so préparer. So gifts can be perfected in practice. Les dons peuvent être parfaits euh, en, en pratiquant. But clarity in calling can only come in His presence in prayer. Mais la clarté dans l'appel ne vient que dans la présence de Dieu à travers la prière. The gifts are made to serve the calling. Les dons sont faits pour servir l'appel. But when you have no clarity, then your calling starts serving your gifts. Mais quand tu n'as pas de clarté, ton appel commence maintenant à servir tes dons. And you can be driven to your gifts and you can forsake Et your calling. Tu peux être uh, conduit dans tes dons que tu oublies ton appel. This is why so many gifted, anointed, powerful people in church. Voilà pourquoi beaucoup de gens talentueux qui ont beaucoup de dons dans l'église are misled and misguided because they don't have clarity in their calling. Sont méconduits parce qu'ils n'ont pas de clarté dans leur appel. And they're blinded by the gifts. Et aveuglés par les dons. Are you with me so far? Amen. The calling of this church and the vision of this ministry. L'appel de cette église et la vision de ce ministère. And the reason why I wanted to do this because I think last week when we asked how many of you know uh, my father and I think only maybe five people or ten people put up their hand. Sur ma semaine passée, j'ai posé la question combien de ceux qui connaissent mon père. And, and, you, qui and you don't main. know what the church is about. Et nous ne connaissons pas trop ce qu'on fait de la raison d'être de l'église. Then this church does not. Then you don't understand where we are going and what we are doing. Alors si nous ne connaissons pas la raison d'être de cette église, nous ne comprendra pas où nous allons et and although this is a message that has to be directed just to the people who are working in the ministry, but I feel that this, this is a message that's needed for the church. The vision of this church is to know him and make him known. Alors la vision de l'église c'est de le connaître et de le faire connaître. Because when you have a clarity in your calling, parce que quand tu as une clarté dans ton appel, then you measure yourself based on your calling. C'est là que tu vas te mesurer par rapport à ton appel. And not on your competition. Et pas par rapport à la compétition. Many churches can look around and say, oh my God, there's so many people, you know, uh, so many churches around. Il y a beaucoup de ceux qui, de ceux qui peuvent dire, il y a beaucoup d'églises autour de nous. But the church is not called to compete. Mais l'église n'est pas appelée à entrer en compétition. Each is Chaque église dans, sa, dans, dans son caractère and individuel est unique. And when you have a clarity on why God called you, et quand tu as une clarté du, du pourquoi ou de la raison pour laquelle you Dieu t'a appelé, you can measure yourself by your calling rather than what other people are doing and saying. Tu peux te mesurer par rapport à ton appel au lieu de te mesurer à ce que les gens disent. Are you with me so far? Amen. Amen. And when you have, not just in church, but even in life, Et non seulement dans l'église, même dans ta vie, when you have a clarity on your calling and your purpose and your identity, quand tu as une clarté sur ton appel, ton but et ton identité, you will never find yourself in a pressure to succeed based on somebody else's success. Tu ne te sentiras pas pressé de, de, uh, de, sous la pression de réussir parce que quelqu'un d'autre a You will not find yourself to, to, to be pressured based on man. Tu ne te sentiras pas sous la pression des gens. But you, you, you'll find yourself being pursued by the power of the Holy Spirit in your calling and your destiny. Hallelujah. Amen. 
So I want to I want to come back to what we just did. Alors j'aimerais encore revenir à ce que nous avons fait. In Mark in chapter 10 verses 46 talks to us about the story of blind Bartimaeus. Dans Marc 10 46 on parle de l'histoire de Bartimée l'aveugle. And all of us probably have heard the story in some setting or the other but I just want to give you a background. Ce matin nous avons déjà entendu uh, ce message. Jesus on his way to Jerusalem probably his his last journey probably his last journey to Jerusalem from Jericho. Alors Jésus en, en route vers Jérusalem passant par Jéricho. As he was walking in he had this encounter with a blind man. Alors qu'il marchait il a eu cette rencontre avec cet aveugle. And just like how all of you were shouting to get the attention of somebody all of the crowd were shouting to get Jesus' attention. Et comme nous étions tous en train de crier pour attirer l'attention c'est comme ça que la foule était en train de crier pour que Jésus tire son attention sur eux. And the reasons why so many people are there could be very depending upon the individual just like here. Et la raison pour laquelle les gens sont en train de crier ça dépend d'une d'un individu à un autre. Hallelujah. Amen. But there was one person that shouted. Mais il y avait une personne qui a crié. I want to ask where is Jafet? Where is Jafet? Why does each time I need to bring somebody's name they're missing? Okay. But there was one person in the in the audience. Mais il y avait quelqu'un dans cette assemblée, dans cette foule. I don't know whether you heard what he shouted and who this person was. Je ne sais pas si vous avez entendu ce cri et qui était cette personne. How easy was it for you to shout? Combien facile était pour toi de crier à haute voix? Jafet. How easy for you to, was it you to shout over the people? It was difficult. And these were just maybe what 200 people. Et c'est juste peut-être probablement 200 personnes ici. But this blind man had to shout in a way that Jesus could hear him over the crowd. Mais cet aveugle devait crier tellement fort que Jésus devait l'entendre plus que cette foule autour de lui. Because everybody wanted to get uh, get Jesus's attention on Parce them. Parce que tout le monde voulait voulait attirer l'attention de Jésus sur lui. And although he couldn't see, et bien qu'il ne pouvait pas voir, he could hear. Il pouvait quand même entendre. And he shouted out, "Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me." Il a crié, "Jésus, fils de David, aie pitié de moi." He used what he had. Il a utilisé ce qu'il avait to reach out to the person. Pour aller vers la personne. So that he could receive what he didn't have. Pour qu'il reçoive ce qu'il n'avait pas. He never had a, he never had eyes. He could not see, but he had a voice and he could shout. Il n'avait pas des yeux pour voir, mais il avait une voix pour crier. And Jesus asked him, "What do you want?" Et Jésus lui dit, "Qu'est-ce que tu veux?" And that's the first question he asked. C'est la première question que Jésus lui a posée. And the first posé. question I want to ask you is, "What do you want?" Et la première question que j'aimerais te poser, qu'est-ce que tu veux? And Jesus asked him, "What do you want Jésus, from me?" Il lui pose, "Qu'est-ce que tu veux de moi?" Bartimaeus, he lacked vision. He couldn't see. Bartimaeus ne pouvait pas voir. Il était and aveugle. one of the worst things to do is to lose your sight. Et une des choses uh, pires à faire, c'est de perdre ta vue. Because when you lose sight, then you can't see your destination and where you're going. Parce que quand tu perds ta vision, tu peux pas voir ta destination, d'où tu vas. There's no use of having a good car when you don't know where you're going. Ça, ça, c'est insensé d'avoir une belle voiture sans savoir où tu vas. And he, and he heard about Jesus and what Jesus has done and the the lame that walked and the blind that saw and the the deaf that heard and the mute that spoke and the dead that rose. Il a entendu parler de Jésus qui a ressuscité les morts, qui a guéri les paralytiques, qui a recouvert la vue aux aveugles. And 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 when he heard he was coming, he shouted and he screamed. Et quand il a entendu venir, il a crié à haute voix. He didn't just sit there and say, yeah, that's okay, he's going. Let me just go about my business. Il n'était pas assis pour dire bon, ok, qui passe, laissez-moi vaquer à mes occupations. And many in the church are still just sitting and while other people are shouting. Et beaucoup dans l'église sont assis alors que d'autres personnes crient. And many people People who come to church are just like that blind man. Et il y a de ceux qui viennent aussi à l'église comme cet aveugle. I, I came to receive what somebody else will throw at me. Je suis venu recevoir ce que quelqu'un d'autre va me donner. And really not have the passion to reach out to Et God yourself. Et j'ai pas cette passion pour aller de moi-même vers Dieu. A lot of the people in the church are receivers. Alors beaucoup de gens dans l'église sont receveurs. And I can understand that. Et je peux le comprendre. And it's a great place to start. Et c'est un euh, euh, un bon moment bien un bon endroit à commencer. Because if you don't receive, then how can you give? Parce que si tu ne sais pas recevoir Comment est-ce que tu peux donner? But if you make if you make that your story, mais si tu fais de cela ton histoire, you will never set out of your situation and step into your purpose. Tu ne sauras jamais quitter ta situation et entrer dans ton but. And as he shouted, the people around him said, "Shut up." Alors qu'il criait, les gens autour de lui lui disaient de se taire. And a lot of people in church sometimes are affected by when you are on fire for God. Et beaucoup de gens dans l'église sont affectés quand tu es en feu pour Dieu. When when you want to reach out, when you want to do something, a lot of people in the church will say, "Shut up and sit down." Quand tu veux aller vers Dieu, quand tu veux faire quelque chose d'extraordinaire. Il y a les gens autour de lui qui te font taire. Because when you're on fire for God and when you and you come forward, 
Parce que quand tu es en feu pour Dieu, quand tu fais ce pas vers Dieu, then it highlights their deficiency. Alors ça, ça présente, ça met en it, lumière tes, tes, tes déficiences. It highlights their lukewarmness. Ça met en lumière la tièdeur. And your passion et ta passion highlights their apathy. met en lumière leur parti. And rather than be convicted in their spirit, au lieu d'être convaincu dans ton esprit, they can be condemned. Ils peuvent être condamnés. And then instead of instead of reaching out and saying I want to be on fire for God, alors au lieu aussi d'aller vers Dieu pour pour être en feu pour Dieu, they get bitter and they start talking about you and say look at this person, look at that person, they're showing off. Ils deviennent amers et ils disent regarde ce type il est en train de se vanter. And they can call your names and they can talk behind you. Et ils peuvent parler du mal derrière toi. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, but this man he shouted even louder. Mais ce homme encore crié plus fort. But the question that sometimes I ask myself is Mais la question que je me suis posée, What was he really interested in? Il était vraiment intéressé en quoi? And the question answer is Jesus. Et la, la réponse est Jésus. What are you really interested in? Alors, c'est quoi en fait qui t'intéresse exactement? And the normal answer would say Jesus. Et une réponse normale, les gens diront Jésus. But if you really look at it the real answer. Mais quand tu regardes la vraie réponse, is himself. C'était lui-même. And many of us are in church not for Jesus but for yourself. Et beaucoup d'entre nous sont dans l'église non pour Jésus mais pour eux-mêmes. Is that okay if I talk to you for a moment? And Jesus stopped for this one man. Et Jésus s'est arrêté pour cet homme. And he met him individually. Et il l'a rencontré individuellement. But many would have tried to make him shut up. Alors que les gens essaient de le, euh, de le faire taire. I believe that even when the presence of God is in this place, he's, he, reach, he reaches out to you individually. Mais je crois que même quand la présence de Dieu est en ce lieu, il travaille d'une manière individuelle. And the, world, and the world would have told you to shut up and just survive. Et peut-être que le monde t'a demandé de te taire et survivre. Just go through the motions. Fais passer, vis seulement but, comme ça. But he's here to tell you that I felt your cry. Mais il est là pour te dire que j'ai entendu tes cris. And although you would have been shut shouting même si tu étais en train de crier and you felt like how can i be heard with all of them shouting et tu as senti comme si comment est-ce que je peux être entendu malgré que les gens crient aussi comme he moi he says i hear you et là il a dit que je t'entends i heard your cry il dit j'entends tes pleurs i see your tears j'ai vu tes larmes to me you're never lost in the crowd pour moi tu n'es jamais perdu dans la foule can you turn to someone next to you dis à ton voisin and say he heard you il il t'a entendu he sees you il t'a vu for who you are pour qui tu es. Hallelujah. Amen. And he came to Jesus and Jesus says, what can I do for you? Et il est venu à Jésus et Jésus lui, lui demande, que puis-je faire pour toi? And many times the question God asks us is the same question, what can I do for you? Et généralement c'est la même question que Jésus nous pose, que puis-je faire pour toi? It's a question of motive. C'est une question de motivation. Why are you coming to me? Pourquoi tu viens vers moi? Many people came to see God. Beaucoup d'entre nous vont vers Dieu. And actually many people who came this morning came to just see that for himself. Et en fait, il y a même de ceux qui sont là ce n'est pas pour Jésus mais pour eux-mêmes. But I, and I think it's a great way to start and saying God I want to see what you can do for me. Et je crois que c'est un bon point de départ pour dire Seigneur je veux I, voir I ce want, que tu peux I faire pour moi. I want to see you really for who you are. Je veux vraiment te voir pour qui tu es. I want to see God can you really change my life? Je veux voir Seigneur ce que tu peux réellement changer ma vie. Can you really change my story? Peux-tu vraiment changer mon histoire? Can you really fill my emptiness? Peux-tu vraiment uh, ressentir ce vide en moi? Can you really quench my dryness? Peux-tu vraiment assouvir uh, ma sécheresse? Can you really fill my hopelessness? Peux-tu vraiment uh, remplir mon désespoir? Can you really fill me with your love? Peux-tu me remplir de ton amour? Can you really give me peace? Peux-tu vraiment me donner la paix? And many of us have come to God initially with those questions. Il y a des gens qui viennent initialement à Dieu avec ces questions. Can you really give me meaning and purpose in life? Peux-tu me donner vraiment le sens et le but de ma vie? And it's also a great way to even invite people just say come and see. C'est vrai que c'est un bon point de départ pour inviter les gens afin qu'ils voient aussi. It is a great place to start. C'est un bon point de départ. But a bad place to be stuck. Mais un mauvais endroit à être coincé. And many of us are even today still coming and saying, God, can you still do this for me? Mais même aujourd'hui, il y a des gens qui continuent encore à dire à Dieu, est-ce que peux-tu faire telle et telle chose pour moi? Can you heal me? Can you deliver me? Can you set me free? Can you bless me? Peux-tu me guérir? Peux-tu me 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 délivrer? Peux-tu me bénir? And in Mark chapter 35, just a few verses before that, et quelques versets avant, verset 35, James and John had this question to Jesus. Jacques et Jean avaient cette question à Jésus. And it actually starts like this in a in a very Weird way. Et ça commence d'une manière étrange. Where am I? James, yeah, James 10:35. The page is turned. Mark okay. 10:35. 
And they said, teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask. Et dit, maître, nous désirons que tu fasses pour nous ce que nous te demanderons. How crazy is that? Whatever we ask, we want you to do. Et dit, nous voulons que tu fasses tout ce que nous te demanderons. So Jesus replied, what do you want me to do? Alors Jésus leur dit, que voulez-vous que je fasse pour and vous? They, and they said that, you know, in, when you're in your glory, we want to be in position, we want to be in your left, we want to be in your right. Et dit, quand tu seras dans ton règne, glorie, nous voulons être à ta droite et à ta gauche. And Jesus' response, et la réponse de Jésus, basically asked the other question. Et c'est en réalité notre question. And sometimes we could be asking Jesus the wrong question. Et souvent nous nous posons à Jésus une mauvaise question. Most of us, our question is God or what I come to you for what you want me what you can do for me. La plupart des questions sont uh, Seigneur je veux je viens vers toi pour ce que tu vas faire pour moi. And sometimes because we're asking the wrong question we're not getting the right answer. Voilà pourquoi quand nous posons une mauvaise question nous n'obtenons pas une bonne réponse. But the real question as you go through the story. Mais la vraie question quand vous parcourez l'histoire. The real question is not God what can you do for me and that's a fabulous question to start with. La vraie question n'est pas ce que tu vas faire pour moi c'est une question fabuleuse avec laquelle nous commençons. But The real question for a Christian. Mais la vraie question pour un chrétien. Is God what can you do through me? Mais qu'est-ce que tu peux faire à travers moi? Are you with me so far? Est-ce que vous êtes avec moi? This question separates the church. Cette question sépare l'église. This question separates the crowd. Cette question sépare la foule. This question separates from those who came to say God bless me, God heal me, God deliver me, God fill me. Cette question fait une différence entre ceux qui veulent dire Seigneur remplis-moi, bénis-moi, fais des choses pour moi. This question actually separates the way you approach life. Cette question fait une démarcation de la manière dont tu approches la vie. It separates the spectators from the participants. Ça fait une démarcation entre les spectateurs et les participants. It, it separates those who came to see God for what he can do and those who came to see God for who he is. Ça fait une démarcation entre ceux qui viennent vers Jésus pour ce qu'il peut faire pour eux et ceux qui vont vers Dieu pour qui il est. I believe that this question primarily separates the church today. Je crois que cette question est d'une manière prématurée sépare l'église aujourd'hui. As we look at the story of Bartimeu, he came to Jesus and said, what can I do for you or that I might see? Quand nous regardons dans l'histoire, il dit que puis-je faire pour toi afin que je voie? And when Jesus healed him, et quand Dieu l'a guéri, like most of us we will what happens is when we receive a miracle when we receive a blessing when we receive a breakthrough quand beaucoup d'entre nous quand nous recevons une délivrance une percée ou une bénédiction we can stand where we are and say oh, thank you jesus praise the lord have a great journey nous pourrons tenir et dire seigneur merci je te dis merci et bon voyage i receive what i came for as you go on your way other people need you j'ai reçu ce pour je suis venu vers toi et alors que tu parcours ton chemin il y a d'autres personnes qui recevront ce qu'ils veulent and from just a, and you just become only a receiver et tu deviens seulement un receveur hallelujah Amen. I know you're very quiet, but I just stay with me. This ministry, ce ministère, what we are about, our vision, alors, là où nous sommes par rapport à notre vision, not je, is not to be served, but to serve. Mais ce n'est pas être servi, mais servir. Not to be just a house that will just want to receive without a house who wants to give. Non seulement être une maison pour recevoir, mais être aussi une maison qui doit donner. There is no use for us to say, God, make me a vessel. Il n'y a pas de raison de dire que Seigneur fait de moi euh, ce vase. Without saying, God, use me as a vessel. Ou de dire, Seigneur, utilise-moi comme cet instrument. Hallelujah. Amen. We don't want to just be to know him is to have a deeper revelation. Nous voulons pas le connaître avoir une relation profonde. To have deeper intimacy. Avoir une intimité profonde. To have a deeper relationship. Avoir une relation profonde. Why? Pourquoi? And a lot of people are seeking this deeper intimacy with God. Et beaucoup de gens cherchent cette intimité profonde avec Dieu. But for the purpose of not just to receive but for the purpose to make him known. Mais pour le but de non seulement recevoir mais de le faire connaître. That's what Paul said is for me to live is Christ. Voilà pourquoi il dit ce n'est plus moi qui vis mais Christ qui vit en moi. It's not about God just fill me but God use me. Ce n'est pas question de Seigneur remplis moi mais Seigneur utilise moi. Not just God bless me but make me a blessing. Non seulement Seigneur bénis moi mais fais de moi une bénédiction. Are you seeing the difference? Est-ce que vous voyez la différence? If you come to church to just be a participator. Si tu viens à l'église, ne sois pas seulement participant. Then you can be losing out on things that God wants to do through you. Alors si tu es seulement participant, tu rateras ce que Dieu veut faire à travers toi. The Bible says that Bartimeu he left his stuff and he followed Jesus. Bible dit Bartimeu a laissé ce qu'il avait, il a suivi Jésus. I want to go where he's going. Je voudrais aller là où il va. I want to do what he tells me to do. Je voudrais faire ce qu'il me demande de faire. He gave me sight not so that I can I can I can be happy about it. 
donné la vue pas seulement pour me réjouir. Like that man who had, who had the legion. Comme cet homme qui avait une légion de démons. Jesus delivered him and he went into the, all the cities proclaiming what Jesus did. Alors que Jésus l'a délivré, il est parti euh, dans dans la décapole pour parler de ce que Jésus a fait pour lui. What is the use for God to bless you, God to heal you, God to deliver you, God to save you for you to just sit in church? Quelle est l'utilité pour Dieu de te délivrer, de te guérir, de te donner la bénédiction pour seulement rester dans l'église? Are you with me this morning? Amen. This is not the ministry ground. Ce n'est pas seulement, uh, ce n'est pas un terrain du ministère ici. This is the place where you come to get empowered. Ça c'est un endroit où tu viens être habilité. Where you come to receive. Où tu viens recevoir. When you come to to be encouraged. Où tu viens être encouragé. So that we go out there and do what God called us to do. Pour que tu sortes et faire ce que Dieu t'a appelé à faire. Hallelujah. Amen. It does not make sense to know God. Ça n'a pas de sens de connaître Dieu But never have the burden to make him known. et ne pas avoir le fardeau de le faire connaître. And as the, if, if our church loses this vision, et si notre église perd cette vision, then we will just be in competition and just be one of the crowd. Alors nous serons dans la compétition et être un autre membre de la foule. God set us apart for a purpose. Dieu nous a mis à part pour un but. God has called you into the family for a purpose. Dieu t'a appelé dans cette famille pour un but. And the re- reason why you need to be clear about the vision. Et la raison pour la doit être clair par rapport à ta Because vision. now you understand where I will, where I, where I put myself in, in line with the vision. C'est parce que tu comprends que là où je me tiens, c'est par rapport à ça s'aligne à ma vision. Why we do what we do? Pourquoi nous faisons ce que nous faisons? It's so that we are built, so that we can build. Pour que nous soyons bâtis et bâtis. So that we are blessed, so that we can bless. Pour que nous soyons bénis et bénir. For God that could heal my sight, so that now I can see and I can lead others. Pour que Dieu puisse recouvrir ma vision afin que je dise. Les Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says in Ephesians 3:20, and we'll close in a few minutes. This is a verse that we quote so well. C'est un passage que nous uh, nous répétons. And I want, what, what does it say? Use the mic, oh. spiritual believer. Praise the Lord. Yeah, Ephesians uh, 3:20. La Bible dit, or, à celui qui peut faire par la puissance qui agit en nous infiniment au-delà de tout ce que nous demanderons ou pensons according to the power that worketh in you par rapport à la, à, à, au pouvoir ou à la puissance qui vit en nous he is able to do exceedingly il, il peut faire abondamment will jump for that et nous sautons he can cela. do abundantly il peut faire abondamment i receive et je le reçois above all that we can ask think or imagine au delà de tout ce que nous pourrons penser ou imaginer oh this is a great verse to hold on for a promise c'est un grand passage auquel nous nous accrochons pour les promesses this is a great promesses. verse where you can preach an edifying Uh, you know, jumping message. C'est un grand passage euh, sur lequel les gens sautent et s'accrochent. According to the power that worketh in us. Par rapport au puissant, à la puissance qui agit en nous. God is in the business of transformation. Dieu est dans les affaires de la transformation. Taking you from where you are. Et te prendre de là où tu es. And making you who you are. Et te faire celui que tu es. Are you with me this morning? Amen. He never died on the cross so that you can just sit and enjoy church. Il n'est pas parti à la croix pour que seulement tu jouisses de l'église. What a waste of the life of, and the blood and the sacrifice if you can only just come and sit in church. Quelle perte de la vie et du sang de Jésus si tu dois seulement venir et t'asseoir à l'église. So that you can make the world known. Mais c'est pour que tu fasses, euh, tu you, fasses you qu'il soit connu dans le monde. You can make me known through you to this world. Pour que tu fasses qu'il soit connu à travers toi dans le monde. The Bible says, what, if you lift me up, I will draw men. Mais si le Fils de l'homme est élevé, il attirera tout homme autour de lui. I want to touch the world, but I want to touch the world through your life. Il dit, je veux toucher le monde, mais je veux toucher le monde à travers toi. Through your hands. À travers ta main. Through your words. À travers tes paroles. Through your heart. À travers ton cœur. Not so that you can just be comfortable in church. Pas seulement pour que tu sois confortable dans l'église. The call of a Christian. L'appel d'un chrétien. Is sacrifice. Est un sacrifice. Because the God that called you. Parce que le Dieu qui t'a appelé. Sacrificed all for you. Il a tout sacrifié pour toi. Hallelujah. Amen. And he will never demand of you. Il va jamais te demander. What he has not given you the ability to do. Ce, ce qu'il ne t'a pas donné comme habilité à le faire. That will make him unfair. Et ça fera ce qu'il soit injuste. But he says, as much as you receive, dit, autant que tu reçois, your, your responsibility is to give. Et 
ta responsabilité de donner. Freely you have received. Tu as reçu gratuitement. Freely you received my grace on your life. Tu as reçu gratuitement ma grâce sur ta vie. you received my sacrifice for your life. Tu as reçu mon sacrifice gratuitement. Freely you received my love for your life. Tu as reçu gratuitement mon amour pour toi. You received your healing. Tu as reçu gratuitement You received your miracle. You received your breakthrough. Ton miracle, ta délivrance. You know you didn't do anything to earn it. It was my gift to you. Tu n'as rien fait pour le mériter. C'était un don, un cadeau que je t'ai donné. In the same measure that you received. De la même mesure que tu as reçu. Is your responsibility to to release. C'est ta responsabilité de donner aussi à la même mesure. This is what separates the church. C'est ça qui sépare l'église. This is what will separate the person that you're sitting next to. C'est ce qui fera une démarcation entre toi et la personne qui est à côté de toi. Most of us are here because God, what can you do for me? Et il y a beaucoup de gens qui sont ici parce qu'ils veulent à ce que Dieu fasse une chose pour eux. But the real question. Mais la vraie question. Is what can God do through you? C'est qu'est-ce que Dieu peut faire à travers toi? Can he use you to be a blessing in this world? Est-ce qu'il peut t'utiliser pour être une bénédiction dans ce monde? If if he, if he can then he'll bless you more abundantly above all that you can ask think or imagine alors s'il peut te bénir au-delà de ce que tu peux penser ou demander according to the power that worketh in you par la puissance qui agit en toi i have called you il t'a appelé i have separated you il t'a séparé i have anointed you il t'a oint i have redeemed you il t'a racheté i have restored you il t'a restauré now that you can go home and have a party pas pour aller te réjouir à la maison but you can be like john like a voice in the wilderness ou bien mais pour que tu sois comme un jean qui crie dans le désert crying out to the lost and the dry people criant vers les gens qui sont perdus so you can be like that samaritan woman at the well mais pour que tu sois comme une samaritaine au puits who ran back and said come and see i have found ok rentre au village pour dire venez je rencontre un homme or you just somebody who just receive ou tu es juste un simple receveur and not give out et ne pas être un donneur you have to ask that question for yourself tu dois te poser cette question pour toi même which category am i falling in dans quelle catégorie tu te retrouves just god what can you do for me est-ce que tu es seulement de la catégorie les gens disent seigneur qu'est-ce que tu peux faire pour moi oh god what can you do through me ou de celle qui dit qu'est-ce que tu peux faire à travers and moi what he can do through you est-ce qu'il peut faire à travers toi will be greater than your your wildest imagination sera plus grand au-delà de, tes, euh, de, de ce que tu peux penser you will never be able to comprehend what god can do through you tu ne seras jamais mesure de comprendre ce que dieu peut faire à travers toi there are people out there blind and dying il y a des gens dans le monde aveugles et meurent who need to know who your god is qui veulent connaître qui est ton dieu and by just a simple word of yours et par juste une petite parole qui vient de toi you can lead them to the light tu peux les amener vers la lumière not a great message pas une grande prédication but just you mais juste toi saying, come and see disons viens et vois come and see viens et vois just come viens seulement because you and i we can't change a person's life parce que toi et moi nous sommes pas mesure de changer la vie de quelqu'un we can't get someone saved nous ne pourrons pas prendre la place de quelqu'un it is only by the work of the holy spirit ce n'était que par le travail du saint esprit is why you and me are here today voilà pourquoi nous sommes là ici but somebody reached out to us mais c'est quelqu'un est venu vers nous and said hey come to church with me et nous a dit viens à l'église avec moi hey come let me show you something il vient je vais te montrer quelque chose hey come for this concert il vient pour ce concert come for this bible study il vient pour cette étude biblique it just come for the youth evening vient pour la rencontre des jeunes it, it just took somebody to connect with you ça demande juste une seule personne être en connexion avec toi that connected you to god et qui te connecte à dieu are you with me amen it started off with what can i do for you ça commence avec qu'est-ce que je peux faire pour toi but it needs to progress and saying god what can you do through me mais ça doit grandir pour maintenant dire qu'est-ce que tu peux faire à travers moi that is the question you have to ask c'est la question à se poser as you stand to your feet this morning alors que nous tenons debout ce matin i want to just pray with you je me réprie avec toi this question is has been it's been on my heart for a very long time cette question était dans mon cœur pendant un long moment this question is not to make you respond emotionally cette question ne doit pas te faire euh, répondre émotionnellement but, but it's for you to search your heart and search your life mais c'est pour toi de sonder ton cœur et sonder ta vie it's for you to have clarity in your calling mais c'est pour toi d'avoir une clarté dans ton appel it's for you to have clarity in the reason why you are here c'est pour toi de comprendre la raison pour laquelle tu es ici because when you have clarity in your calling parce que quand tu as une clarté dans ton appel then you have direction to your destiny c'est que là que tu auras la direction de ta destinée 
So as you stand, I'm just going to pray with you for a little while. Alors que tu tiens debout, j'aimerais prier avec toi pour un moment. So many times I've asked myself that question. Beaucoup de gens de temps, je me suis posé cette question. God, what do you want to do through me? Je me suis dit, Seigneur, qu'est-ce que tu veux faire à travers Because moi? Because if I'm not clear about my calling, parce que si je suis pas bien clarifié par rapport à mon appel, I might be the one that is misleading you. Je pourrais être celui qui te me conduit. Misdirecting you. Ou te diriger autrement. And I could be. I could let my gift overcome, overpower my calling. Et je laisserai ce que mes dons puissent avoir uh, un pouvoir sur mon appel. Just because I can preach. Parce que je peux prêcher. Just because I can sing. Parce que je peux chanter. Just because I have this talent or that gift. Parce que je j'ai ce talent ou ce you don. You got to bring it in subjection to your calling. Mais doit être soumis à ton appel. Because your calling is what directs you to your destiny. Parce que ton appel c'est ça qui te conduit vers ta destinée. Your gift helps you as you go along that way. Tes dons t'aident alors que tu parcours ce chemin. And so I just wanted to leave this with you. Alors je voudrais vous laisser avec cette question. God, why am I even standing here? Seigneur, pourquoi je me tiens même ici? What do you want to do through me? Qu'est-ce que tu veux faire à travers moi? Show me. Montre-moi. Open my eyes. Ouvre mes yeux. Like Bartimeo cried out so that I might see. Afin que je voie. I need to have a clear vision. Je veux avoir une vision claire. Because I have so many things that are blocking my eyes. Parce que j'ai beaucoup de choses qui bloquent mes yeux. That I can't see where I'm going. Et je ne vois plus où je vais. I can't see what I'm worth. Et je ne sais plus de quoi je suis digne. I don't have clarity on my calling. Je n'ai pas une clarté sur mon appel. I don't have clarity in my direction. Je n'ai pas une clarté sur ma direction. I don't want to just do things because somebody is demanding of me. Je ne veux pas faire de choses parce que quelqu'un me demande de le faire. I want to do it because you are leading me to do it. Mais je veux le faire parce que c'est toi qui me conduis à le faire. Make me that instrument in your hand. Fais de moi cet instrument dans tes mains. If I am the clay and you are the potter, you will make me into the vessel you want to use me for. Si je suis l'argile et toi le potier, fais de moi ce vase que tu veux utiliser. You know why you called me and separated me and died for me. Tu sais pourquoi tu m'as appelé, tu m'as séparé, tu es mort pour moi. I pray that you'll help me open my eyes. Je prie que tu m'aides à ouvrir mes yeux. Touch my eyes of my heart. Touche mes yeux, touche mes yeux du cœur. So that I might see you. Pour que je te voie. See you in the light of who you are. Te voir dans la lumière de qui tu es. See you in the light of my destiny. Te voir dans la lumière de ma destinée. And the purpose of why you called me and separated me. Et dans le but du pourquoi tu m'as appelé et mis à part. So that I just don't get lost in the crowd. Or people shouting for attention. Pour que je ne sois pas perdu dans la foule des gens qui crient, qui demandent cette attention. And among them all, God, you singled me out. Et parmi cette foule, tu m'as mis, tu m'as vu. So many were shouting for you, but you singled me out. Alors que tout le monde criait, mais tu m'as vu et tu m'as mis à part. And you called me. Et tu m'as appelé. Because if God didn't call you, you could not have come. Parce que si tu n'étais pas appelé, tu ne devais pas être là. He called you here. Il t'a appelé en ce lieu. He called you to his own. Il t'a appelé en sa manière. So that he can restore you. Pour qu'il te restaure. Where you are stuck. Voice. Pour que tu sois la voix. So you can be his hands. Pour que tu sois sa main. So that you can be his feet. Pour que tu sois ses pieds. So that you can be his eyes. Pour que tu sois ses yeux. As you reach out to this world. Alors. I want to be that vessel that will flow. Je veux être ce canal qui va faire couler. Use me, Lord. Utilise-moi, Père. Use me, Lord. Utilise-moi, Seigneur. Use me, Lord. Utilise-moi, Seigneur. If you can take just a few seconds and just cry out to God. Si tu veux prendre juste quelques secondes et crier vers ton I've Dieu. I've got so wrapped up in my own life. Nous avons été longtemps enveloppés dans nos vies. My own challenges. Dans tes propres défis. My own deficiencies. Dans tes propres déficiences. My own situation. Dans tes propres situations. I've been wrapped up in selfishness. Tu as été enveloppé dans l'égoïsme. But God said, "I've called you to a life of selflessness." Mais Dieu t'a dit, je suis, je t'ai appelé dans une vie unique. Where it's not about you, it's about me. Où ce n'est plus question de toi, mais question de Dieu. The world doesn't need you. The world needs Jesus. Le monde n'a pas besoin de toi. Le monde a besoin de Jésus. 
and God can reveal through your life où Dieu peut se révéler à travers ta vie the way the hope and the life la manière dont tu vas présenter l'espoir Father I thank you Père nous te disons merci Use me Lord utilise moi Seigneur Flow through me Holy Spirit Coule à travers moi Saint Esprit Speak through me Holy Spirit Parle à travers moi Saint Esprit Move through me Holy Ghost Agis à travers moi Use my lips and my voice Utilise mes lèvres et mes paroles With your words Avec tes paroles Jesus Jesus Many people received the healing. Il y a beaucoup de gens qui reçoivent la guérison. But they walked away. Mais ils sont éloignés. And just thank God for their miracle. Et merci pour ce miracle seulement. The ten lepers that came to Jesus. Il y a dix lépreux qui sont venus vers Jésus. Nine, all of them were healed. Nine walked away, went back home. Only one came back. Tous étaient guéris. Neuf sont partis, mais un seul est revenu pour dire merci à Jésus. To give him glory. Pour rendre gloire à Jésus. That is the question that separated them. C'est la question que nous devons nous poser. It's not what you can do for me. Ce n'est pas ce pourquoi tu as enduré pour moi. But what can you do through me? Ce n'est pas c'est plutôt question de ce que Dieu peut faire à travers toi. Do through me, Lord. Va à travers moi. Jesus, I surrender the Amen. I request you all to be seated for a few more minutes. We have a few announcements for this week. On Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. Le mardi à 18h30, we have our youth meeting. Nous avons la réunion des jeunes. I request all of you who have been coming. Et je demande à chacun d'entre vous d'être là. And young people who have never come les jeunes qui n'ont jamais participé à cela to make time and come for this je vous demande d'être là de, faire, de, 
donner votre temps et d'être là. Will be discussing on different youth issues. Et nous allons parler de certains sujets qui ont trait à la jeunesse. Having various interactive discussions. Et avoir des, des, des moments interactifs. So I urge you, please come Alors and try and see what this is. Et venez voir ce qui se passe là. On Wednesday at 6:30 p.m. Le mercredi à 18h30. We have our church Bible study. Nous avons l'étude biblique de l'église. We will be uh, speaking on the topic of understanding your Bible. Et nous allons parler sur comment comprendre la Bible. So I urge you, please make time on Wednesday 6:30 p.m. and come for this Bible study. Encore une fois de plus, je vous encourage à créer le temps et d'être là le mercredi à 18h30. Before we go into the offering, et avant de passer aux offrandes, I just want to say. Juste dire that those of you who've been uh, having this in your heart to uh, make a special offering towards Reverend Augustine. Que ceux qui ont eu à avoir cela dans la portée, cela dans leur cœur d'avoir une offrande spéciale pour le Reverend Augustine. That you would put your offering into an envelope and put it into the box si in the middle. Si vous pouvez mettre ça dans une enveloppe et mettre ça dans le panier que devant ici. The white box. Le panier blanc. And those of you who've not, who don't have the money today, Et pour ceux qui pas ici présent, but would like to make a pledge towards it, mais qui, qui faire un ou un vœu pour cela, I request you to write it down on the envelope, je vous alors cela sur envelope and put in your pledge et mettre votre vœu ou votre so that we will know that you are giving towards this. Pour que nous pouvons savoir que vous êtes en train de donner, préparer à vous donner par rapport à cette cause. And it would help to say by when you will be able to give it to. Et si vous pouvez dire aussi quand est-ce que vous pouvez donner cela. So that the church pastors can follow up with you. Pour que l'église puisse faire un suivi. Also, um, I urge all of you as we continue to pray. Et une fois de plus pendant que nous continuons à prier. From 8 to 8:15 p.m. every day. De from 8 to 8:15 p.m. De 20h à 20h15. Wherever you are. Peu importe où tu es. For Reverend Augustine. Pour le Reverend Augustine. And this is something that I, I felt in my heart uh, as I was just preparing there. Et uh, c'est quelque chose que j'ai ressenti dans mon cœur pendant que je me préparais. Uh, I just want to reach out to all the children who are here. J'aimerais parler à tous les enfants qui sont ici. I believe children have simple faith. Je pense que les enfants ont une foi simple. They don't get into the many complexities of what the issue is. Ils ne se mêlent pas dans la complexité du problème qui est devant. So I'm reaching out to all the children who are seated here because there's no Sunday school today. Alors je demande à tous les enfants qui sont ici qui ne sont pas ici aujourd'hui. As you spend that two minutes in prayer. Pendant que vous passez ces quelques minutes dans la prière. Praying for your family. En priant pour vos familles. Praying for your friends and loved ones. Priez pour vos, vos amis et les personnes que vous aimez. I urge you to be intercessors for Reverend Augustine as je, well. Je vous encourage d'être intercesseurs. And I believe as you put that simple faith to work. Et je prends, je crois que lorsque nous allons appliquer cette foi simple que nous avons. I believe we will see. Je crois que nous verrons. A, a, a good outcome of this. Une issue positive dans ce Amen. Cas. Amen. So this was just for the children. It's something that was in 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 my spirit. So I I just spoke. C'est quelque it. chose qui était dans mon esprit. C'est ça que j'ai donné. Is there anybody here for the first time? Est-ce quelqu'un qui est ici pour la première fois? Anyone visiting Zion for the first time? Can you fois? just raise your hand? Si vous êtes ici pour la première fois, levez votre main. Anybody first time, please raise your hand so si that we can. Si vous êtes ici pour la première fois, votre main. Can you welcome my sister in the name of Christ? Welcome, sister, to the house of God. You will be getting a form. I request you to fill that form and hand it over back to the ushers so that we can connect with you. Vous remplir cela et remettre cela aux ouvriers. Before we go into the offering, Avant de passer aux offrandes, uh, the women's fellowship, Zion Women's Fellowship, will be held on this Saturday at 11 a.m. Il y aura rencontre des femmes de l'église ce samedi à 11 heures juste. So all the women who are part of the women's fellowship, alors toutes les femmes de l'église, please sign this off on your calendars. Vous pouvez noter cela dans vos calendriers. And make time and come for this. Créer le temps et être là. And I again urge all the family members of the women who are not yet a part of this. Une fois de plus, tous les membres de famille qui ont, toutes les personnes qui ont des femmes dans leur famille. To kindly release your, the women in your life. Ou les hommes mariés, libérer les femmes. For an hour or two for this. Pour une heure ou deux, amen. There will be a video playing. Il y aura une vidéo. From the women's fellowship. De la rencontre des jeunes. And after des that femmes. we go into offering. Et après cela, nous allons passer aux offrandes.
things. As women, as we reach up, as we relate to, all of us struggle with running ahead of time. Like someone said, we all lack patience. We want to do too many things at one time, so we always run ahead of time. I relate to that. I relate to that a lot. And I also relate to the aspect where we can be very easily deceived if we are not constantly filled with the spirit. Deception can creep in and it can impact our actions. Our actions can impact the nation. Our actions can impact the nation. man of God, right? You are just a wife, just sitting there, praying for your husband, that's all. But right? I understand that even like a woman, you can do such a great thing. So as mothers, as women of God, we should teach, not only our children, or any child that you come in contact with. Just come from far away from Jopal, you see, and we want to sell these garments. This garment, this money, we are going to use to help the poor people, the widows, and the church. Amen. Shall we all stand? Amen. Amen.
this morning father I just want to thank you in the name of Jesus for every seed that has been sown in your kingdom this morning every tithe every offering every sacrificial giving that has been made this morning we thank you that they've honored that they've honored you in their life we space we pray specifically father Lord for a blessing that will come upon them and overpower them and over and let it flow like a river from them so that we can continue to reach out and be a blessing to this world we pray right now even for the seed that has been sown towards Reverend Augustine's need we thank you Lord that every financial requirement every bill that is required to be paid will be paid in full in Jesus name father right now we don't know where the finances will come in but we know that you're on the throne father and that everything that the enemy has taken from his life will cause it to be refunded to them several fold in the name of Jesus and every seed that has been sown today may bring forth a fruit which is greater than the seed that has been sown in the name of Jesus we thank you that you are faithful father and I thank you Lord that you will continue to be faithful because you are a debtor to no man I thank you as we just release a blessing over the giving this morning may the seed bring forth and harvest in Jesus name we pray amen amen can you give God a praise this morning amen amen is any of you um, celebrating your birthdays can you just quickly run to the front anyone setting, celebrating the birthdays or wedding anniversaries we don't want to keep you long so we just want to wish you quickly No? She's coming. You sure? All the attention on you, my sister, today. Amen. Everybody was waiting five minutes. Where is this girl coming? coming? So Amen. let's just sing for her as we... As we just wish her happy birthday. your feet and let's close in prayer let's thank Vous God for this pour, morning pour as you stand your feet we just uh, I only have one form here so I'm not sure if anybody else is for the first time but uh, can you just help me welcoming sister Vangu Matudu Lili glory to God it's, it's good yeah, it's, it's good normal. amen I'm, 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 I'm trying hallelujah okay once again, we just thank God for you, for you here this morning. For those that have joined us from around the world, we, we praise God for your life. Father, I just want to thank you for everything that has happened today, for the praise, the worship, the word, the giving. May you be honored and glorified in everything that we do. Father, we pray that even as we go from this place this morning, that your presence continue to rest upon us and lead us and guide us. May you continue, Lord God, Master, to give us clarity in the calling that you have in our lives. I thank you for everyone that has come here with a heart that is searching for you. 
Seigneur, qui te cherche. And who cried out and said, God, I want you to show me how you want to use me. We pray, Lord, that even as they surrender to you, même lorsqu'ils s'abandonnent à toi, that your Holy Spirit will fill them and consume them. Nous prions que ton esprit les remplisse et les consume et va couler dans leur vie. We thank you that we don't have to be perfect to come to you. We can come as broken and as we are, and your presence is the one that that makes us into who we are. aussi briser que nous sommes et ta présence nous répare. I thank you this morning. Je te rends grâce ce matin. And right now unto him that is faithful. Et à celui qui est fidèle. May his grace and his favor, his mercy, his blessing. Continue to rest upon you. Continue de reposer sur Lead toi. you and guide you. De conduire et te diriger. In everything that you need to do. Dans tout ce que tu fais. And give you clarity in your calling. Et te donne la clarté dans ton appel. And may he and he alone. Et puis il et lui seul. Receive all the glory. Recevoir toute la gloire. All the praise. La louange. From your life. De ta vie. And all God's people shouted. Amen. 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 God bless you as you leave from this place. Pendant que vous sortez de ce lieu. Remember to wish somebody as you walk out and just share some love with them. Sortir et partager l'amour. Remember to keep praying for Reverend Augustine and his family. N'oubliez pas de continuer à prier pour le Reverend Augustine et sa famille. Amen. And on Tuesday, 6:30 Wednesday.